So we're going to be adding a tab bar at the bottom of the page in our app. That way we can navigate between different screens. So we're going to start by adding it to the find listings connector first. So I'm going to go to the very bottom and I'm just going to create a view here. Um, and this view is going to be what the, um, the tab bar is going to be inside of. So I'm just going to have some text right now that I'm going to say hi in. And we're going to render that and we can't really see it right now. It's kind of tucked at the bottom. What I'm going to do here is give it a height of 100 pixels. Um, that way we can kind of see how big it is. And what I also like to do is give it a background color because then you can see exactly what it looks like. So I'm going to make it red. And we can see here's our tab bar at the bottom now. And we can see the high there. And now when I scroll this, you see it goes behind. Um, the tab bar persists there. So that's what we want. Um, and then there's also kind of this margin at the bottom here that we added from the flat list. Um, we can remove that since we're now going to have a tab bar that's going to kind of be there um, and that'll work well. So we can make this tab bar as big or as small as we want. So maybe I'm going to make this like 70 so it's not quite as big. And the next thing I want to be able to do on this tab bar is to click on an icon or something and have that um, change or change screens. So to add an icon, I can import this from React Native Elements. So that comes with icons and all I have to do is give it a name. So for example, uh, we have a page where we add items. So for example, you could use the add icon here and we can see a little plus sign. Now there's lots of different icons we can choose from. So here is the list of the ones we can choose from. I'll link this in the description below and how this works is look at the icon that's right here. So these icons are all part of the in typo set. Um, and then this is the name of the icon. So let's say I wanted to add this icon. What I do is I say type and you can see here in the little window that popped up, you specify the type. So whether it's material uh, or in our case, we want to use in typo. So we say the type is equal to in typo um, and the name is going to be uh, whatever icon you saw. So now we can see that the icon show up there. So the default one is using the material icons. So the add icon that I'm using um, is right here from material icons right there. Um, so you can choose whichever one you want. We can do add circle if we want to. And so let's say we want to add two icons to go from this page to another page. So why don't we also add one that's like a list. And the list is what we want to represent um, this page. Um, the other thing, let's go ahead and increase the size of this. So I'm going to make it 30. That way it's just a little bit bigger and we'll do size 30 for this one as well. And then I want this to be uh, side by side. So I'm going to say uh, display. Oh, it's already displayed flex, so we don't need to do that. But I'm going to say flex direction is equal to row. And now they're side by side. And now I want these equally spaced out here. So what I'm going to say is just by content space evenly. And now we have them nicely spaced out. And maybe I want to see if I can align them. So align items center. Um, so now that they're taking up kind of the center of this block. Um, actually, I think I like them at the top better. Either way works. Maybe add a little bit of padding at the top because they're kind of close. So I can add padding top like 10 or something. Um, and I just need a comma there. Reload. And then there we go. That looks kind of the position I want them in. So now to actually change screens, we can wrap them in a component called link. And this is coming from React Router. And we don't want it from React Router DOM. We want it from React Router Native. And so I'm going to wrap that. And then I'm going to say two. And then here I'm going to specify uh, what I want it to go to when I click on it. So if I come over here to the routes, I can see all the different routes. So let's say I want to go to the listing create page. I can copy that, I can paste that there. So now when I click on this add circle icon, it's going to take me to a new screen. Now you'll notice what happened there is we no longer have that icon bar at the bottom. And that's because we only added it to the find listing connector. But let's say we want this on every single screen. What we can do is we can come over to our routes over here and add it over here. 
So I'm going to copy this view, save it, and move it over here. Um, and so I just need to grab these imports and we're going to move them over here. I'm just going to re-import them, I think. So let's go ahead and re just remove them from over here. Um, and let's add it to the import that we already have. And then we need to import the icon from React Native Elements and then the view from just React Native. Did that not work? There we go. And then we also just need to wrap the whole thing here in a view because you'll see it's not showing up quite yet. And then I'm going to say style flex one. And now we can see our icon bar at the bottom and nothing has changed. We can still scroll, do stuff. But now if I switch screens, you'll notice the icon bar is still there. Now I'm not sure if you guys caught that, but there's a small kind of like black box that appears when I click on the icon. Um, that seems to be just like the default thing that the link adds. And here there seems to be a little carrot here I'm going to get rid of. Um, for whatever reason, the link does that. So I'm going to add another link here. So listing stop, what do we call it, find. So whenever I click on them, I can go back and forth between the two screens. Now there's that black bar. To get rid of that, I can switch it by specifying what component the link uses. So I want to use a touchable opacity. Um, and I'm going to copy that and use that for my link here as well. And you'll see that gives a much nicer just fade on the icon when you click on it rather than that ugly black box that it gives it. Um, but there we go. That's our tab bar that we have added to the bottom here. There's a lot more that you could add to this to make it better. Um, let's get rid of the background color. Um, we could give it like a subtle, like maybe F2, F2, F2 um, background color so it's slightly off white or something so it stands out a little bit at the bottom. Um, and you could style this and we could add more icons for each of our pages. For example, if we wanted to go to the login page, um, though it, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to have this in the login, but you could. Um, and I don't know what icon we want to choose for that. Let's do, um, let's see if there's a login one. So there's a login from in typo, so let's use that. So I'm going to say type is equal to in typo. And let's use login. And now I can click on that to go to the login screen. And now this is what I can do to transition to the screens I want to.